Small intestine bacterial overgrowth. What in the world is that? Okay, we all know that we have a small intestine. We know that you should probably have some bacteria or those things called probiotics growing in it. But it can overgrow? Well, yeah, it can. And that overgrowth could be responsible for a number of uncomfortable symptoms associated with irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, and any type of colitis. Stay tuned and I'll explain how to tell if you have this problem and what we're going to do about it. I'm Dr. David Dahlman for drdahlman.com. Small intestine bacterial overgrowth isn't that common, but if you have it, it can make you very uncomfortable, and it probably goes undiagnosed in most people. Undiagnosed small intestine bacterial overgrowth occurs more frequently in people with IBS and less frequently in people with Crohn's disease or any type of colitis. This is also called an anaerobic bacterial problem. Diagnosis is done most frequently by what's called a hydrogen breath test, where the patient eats a form of carbohydrate and after a short period of time, breathes into an apparatus that collects their breath and tests for the amount of hydrogen in that sample. But I have a much simpler way. Early in my practice, when I uh, suspected that the patient suffered from small intestine bacterial overgrowth, I used the hydrogen breath test. But I noticed that almost all of these patients seem to complain about the same sort of symptoms. Gas, bloating, burping, belching, stomach discomfort, all of them in the upper gastrointestinal area, meaning belly button and up. And it always occurred within 30 to 45 minutes after every meal, with some patients actually finding these symptoms setting in before they even get up from the table. And they all tested positive for small intestine bacterial overgrowth. So I stopped using the hydrogen breath test, saved the patient money, and just starting, started asking this one question. Do you get gas and or bloating and burping and or belching and or indigestion or nausea, any or all of them in the upper gastrointestinal area within 30 to 45 minutes after eating every meal? The two most important parts of that question are the 30 to 45 minutes and every meal. Now I'm not interested in what happens throughout the day or what happens after lunch, but not dinner. Everyone with bowel problems has a certain amount of discomfort throughout the day, but if you have small intestine bacterial overgrowth, you will see a dramatic increase in your symptoms after every meal and within that 30 to 45 minute time frame. You won't even have to think about it, much about it. You'll have no doubt about this increase in symptoms if you have this problem, and here's the reason. Earlier, I also called this uh, small intestine bacterial overgrowth an anaerobic bacterial problem. That's because the bacteria that cause this problem are anaerobic bacteria that live on sugar as opposed to aerobic bacteria that live on oxygen. It happens quickly because these anaerobic bacteria live in the first one to two feet of the small intestine because they're waiting for the stomach content to empty, which they know, and I don't know how they know it, but they do, that you have eaten some carbohydrates which are obviously going to break down to sugar. They are now ready to feast on that sugar. And when they do, they give off a gas called hydrogen, and that's what causes your noticeable increase in symptoms. It happens after every meal because we all eat some amount of carbohydrates after, uh, at every meal, don't we? Now, here's a test for you to see if this, is, this pertains to you. If you believe you suffer from the small intestine bacterial overgrowth, also call, called an anaerobic bacterial problem, Test this concept by eating a couple meals in a row consisting only of protein, no carbs at all. In other words, have a breast of chicken, a steak, or a piece of salmon with nothing else and see if you have the same increase in these upper gastrointestinal symptoms. If you have no symptoms with this no carb meal, you have a small intestine bacterial overgrowth problem. If you have the same increase in symptoms, you better call me to help you figure out why because something else is going on. If you decide you do have this problem, we can easily kill the small intestine bacterial overgrowth with natural supplements called Candibacin BR and Alsinex, available from my secure online store at drdolman.com. Or if you're already at drdolman.com, see the information at the bottom of this page. Don't suffer from this easily treated problem. Get rid of it and see how much better you can feel. I'm Dr. David Dolman for drdolman.com. To read more information and view additional videos about natural therapies for many chronic health conditions, please visit drdolman.com.